Creating and applying color is a great way to be creative in InDesign. To start working with color, you'll first learn what stroke and fill are, then apply color using existing colors, and then make your own color. To follow along, you can use your own document or open this document from the practice files for this tutorial. Select the selection tool in the tools panel on the left and click to select this white frame. Frames, shapes, text, and more can have a fill, which is this white color, and a stroke, which is the red color. A stroke acts like a border around the fill. You can apply a color or a gradient, which at its simplest is a blend from one color to another to the fill or stroke of selected objects. In the properties panel to the right of the document, you'll see a fill color and a stroke color for the selected frame. Click the fill color and you'll see a panel. At the top are options showing swatches, which are default colors that come with every document, a color mixer for creating your own color, and gradients. Make sure that the swatches option is selected so you can see a series of default colors. You can apply the color called none to remove color. Registration is a black that is used for printing marks. Don't use it in the place of black and paper is what we can use for white. Try clicking a few of the colors to see how they look in the selected frame. Make sure you wind up with this orange color in the fill of the frame. You might need to scroll on the panel to see it. You can press escape to hide these colors. Then click the stroke color below the fill color in the properties panel and choose the color none from the swatches that appear so you can remove the stroke. This applies no color to the stroke and removes any previously applied color. Having default colors is a great way to jumpstart your design process, but you may want to make your own color. You'll do that by changing the color of this text. So select the type tool in the tools panel on the left Move the pointer over this text, and when the pointer looks like an I-beam, drag across the text to select it. To change the fill color, click the fill color in the properties panel, and select the color option at the top of the panel that appears. To show color in a certain way, click the panel menu in the upper right corner here. In the menu that appears, you'll see a list of methods for creating color. Lab, CMYK, and RGB. The two most widely used are CMYK, which stands for cyan, magenta, yellow, and black. These are printing inks and are used on most desktop printers to create color when you print. And RGB, or red, green, and blue, which is typically used for creating color content viewed on screen like a presentation. Choose CMYK from the menu here. Now you can create a color by sampling in this color field at the bottom of the panel or adjusting each color independently using these sliders or even by typing in values to create a color from the mix. Click in the color area down here to apply a dark blue color. Then you can drag each of these sliders, cyan, magenta, yellow, and black, so they approximately wind up with these color values. Now if you need to apply a specific color, maybe a color somebody gave you, you can type in those color values if you have them. Making a color this way is actually pretty easy, but that color isn't automatically saved. If you want to apply the same color to other artwork, one way is to sample the color using the eyedropper tool. This is a fast way to apply the same formatting from one object to another, and it's really helpful for creating consistent colors. Now you'll sample the text color and apply it to some other objects. So select the selection tool, and click to select this small shape. Then to select this other group of shapes, press the shift key and click on it. One way to work with the eyedropper tool is to select the content you would like to apply the color to first, then sample the color from some other content. Now to select the eyedropper tool. Press and hold down on the color theme tool in the tools panel on the left to show more tools. Then select the eyedropper tool. Move the pointer over the text and click to sample the color and apply the same fill and stroke to the selected content. To make sure that nothing is selected, choose Edit, Deselect All. There really are a lot of ways to work with color in Adobe InDesign, and that means more creative freedom and flexibility as you work in InDesign. Now that you know how to apply and even make your own colors, you can apply color to frames, text, and more to create projects that stand out.